So it has been a hot little minute. And when I say hot minute, I really mean like a month since I washed my hair. Um, I actually don't even think I'm exaggerating. If you guys aren't watching my vlogs, I recently moved and I put some twist in my hair so that I could just focus completely on moving. Then it's time to address the situation that I've been delaying for the past couple of weeks. So we're gonna start with a really, really good scalp um, detox. This is my first time using this product, so hopefully it goes well. And let's go ahead and get started. Oh, this feels really good. Ooh. So this product has a gel, jelly-like consistency, and it feels so good on a dry, itchy scalp. You know when you have buildup on your scalp that even when you shampoo, you still feel like half an inch of gunk on your scalp? This is going to help you with that. It detoxes, exfoliates, hydrates, and treats, and has some really great ingredients like calendula, which is great for dry, itchy scalp, as well as allantoin, which actually helps to heal your skin and can remove dry, flaky, dead skin. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 40 minutes. Don't look at my clock, it was 40 minutes. <laughs> and then we're going to shampoo that product off of my scalp as well as give my hair a really thorough cleaning because girl, it had been a long time. So we're gonna start with the Pattern Beauty Clarifying Shampoo. I like the clarifying shampoo because it doesn't strip the hair too badly. It doesn't have sulfates and my hair is a bit tangled so I don't want it to be like super, super stripped. Then I'm gonna do the hydration shampoo by pattern, which is gonna add some moisture, but still cleansing to the hair. And I really like to drag the shampoo down my ends because it has been so long. And just having clean hair is a really good foundation to get your hair prepared to receive moisture, which I want when I deep condition. And then I'm going to finish with the Head & Shoulders 2-in-1 Dry Scalp Care. This is my absolute favorite shampoo. Like seriously, if you have dry, itchy scalp, dandruff of any kind, this is my favorite from the Head & Shoulders line. And look how sudsy my hair is. That's when you know your hair is clean because there's no product residue that's stopping the shampoo from sudsing up. So my hair is squeaky clean but still really, really moisturized because the two pattern shampoos are great at retaining your moisture while cleaning. And then finishing my last cleansing step with a shampoo and conditioner in one really adds moisture back into the hair. So now I'm going to take the Pattern Beauty Medium Conditioner. This is my favorite out of all, I think there's three or four of them. That's my favorite one, the Medium Conditioner. It agrees with my hair the best. My only complaint is that it does sting your eyes and it doesn't have like as much slip as I want it to have, but it gives your hair this lush feeling and this shiny look that it's honestly worth it for me. And then I'm going to apply my deep conditioner after rinsing out my detangling conditioner. And I'm just using an old favorite. All of my products, by the way, are linked in the description box, so check there if you're curious. I'm really giving my hair the VIP treatment this wash day because I have been neglecting her. So after deep conditioning and sitting under the dryer um, for about 40 minutes, I go ahead and rinse that out and then I'm blow drying using a tool that has made my natural hair life easier. So this is the Rev Air Reverse Air Blow Dryer and it works y'all you literally just put your hair in this little wand and you sit there and as a Taurus I love it okay I don't have to do anything <laughs> you can even eat like you can sit here you can eat I watch my tv shows usually and it blow dries my hair in 90 seconds I always check at the 60 second mark just to see how it's going this device was gifted to me by Revere but I have been wanting to try it for years so I'm so happy that they gave it to me and I do have a discount code if you want to check it out so I found that my best setting is the four level tension there's like seven levels of tension and the highest heat setting and that gives me hair that's silky combable and doesn't revert for at least three days that had to be the easiest blow drying session oh <laughs> I've had yet I've used this Rev Air probably, this is probably like my sixth time using it and it just gets better and better like as I learn what works for me and they're right when they say the highest level is not always the best level because the first time I used it I think I was on level six and my hair was not smooth. It was actually like frizzy and I didn't like it at all and I thought that it didn't work for me. And then I started kind of playing with the levels 
and that was the trick. So, here's my hair. The shape is holding up so, so well. Um, I don't do the shape myself. I have a stylist who does it for me. And we're actually going to go see her today slash tomorrow because it's definitely like 2 a.m. right now. So the question now becomes, how do we conserve or, excuse me, maintain our hair in the meantime? I wonder how much I'm going to have to trim. I guess we'll see. I'm thinking like wrap it. That's what like my instincts tell me. So I'm going to try to wrap it. I think it'll work. This was my first time wrapping blow dried hair and I feel like the key is just to detangle along the way. Like detangle, smooth, comb. Go section by section, take your time and know it's not gonna look perfect because it's not straight. Um, I was surprised that it actually worked because <laughs> I've been blow drying my hair the day of my appointments for the past like two years. So this is a great discovery. So I'm wrapping it up for bed. We have cleansed, deep conditioned, stretched, and prepared the hair to be trimmed. And then I blinked and it was time to go to the appointment. So this is about seven hours later. My hair held up pretty well. It's salvageable. She can definitely trim on this. So I call that a success. So I want it to be like, like, give me all the cuts, give me all the shape, you know, within what I'm asking for. And I'll just cut my hair off. But, you know, I like it when people take time with my cuts and don't just make one cut and be like, boom, you're done. Um, so she's very thorough and my shape holds up so well. Like as my hair grows out, it holds this shape so well. I think it's like, I don't know how that happens. I just feel like it's a really natural shape for my hair, my head. Um, it feels personalized. Like if I went to somebody else, I feel like it wouldn't look like this. So if you guys are looking for a stylist, I highly recommend her for trends. That's all I've ever been for. Um, I usually style my hair on my own, which is what I'm going to have to do in the next few weeks. I'm not going to rush into styling the next portion of my hair because I did just spend like six hours um, doing all of this. So again, this is my hair, healthy, full ends. And something that I'm realizing with my hair is I am not looking to grow my hair quickly or to get to a goal length quickly. I don't even really have a goal length, even though my hair, my goal is always to have the longest, healthiest hair possible, but I don't have like a length in mind. 
my goal this time around is to grow hair with intention. Like I want my hair to be healthy every step of the way. In the past, it's been moderately healthy, but I didn't go to a stylist. Like I would go once a year and get like a, a very thorough trim once a year. But this time around, like I don't want to fight my hair. I want my ends to be good. I want to consistently get trims and have like incremental healthy length retention as opposed to large leaps of length retention that I then cut off, you know, six, seven, eight months down the line. So I just want to enjoy the journey and we're in no rush to go anywhere, girl. We're just enjoying the ride, enjoying the vibes. So I'm about to go to dinner with my boo and I'll see you guys when I'm ready to style my hair. I lied. I lied, girl. I never came back and styled my hair. I just wore it blow dried and it was amazing because it actually stayed blow dried and stretched. Like it did not revert back nearly at all. I just kept wrapping my hair and it lasted for, I wanna say two weeks. I'll put some pictures in of what happened. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I love you. Have a wonderful, beautiful day and keep being you girl. The world needs it.